Well, we've all done it. I've done it. You've done it. If you haven't, the fact that you're watching this video means that you're probably thinking about doing it. What am I talking about? Cold air intakes. Question is though, is it worth the time and is it worth the money? Because these things are not cheap. So that is exactly what I am set out to do today or in this, you know, next set of videos. So I'm gonna test out two different cold air intakes. Uh, one's a cold air intake, the other one's, I guess, kind of a cold air intake. I don't know, we'll get into that here in a second. Um, get them on the dyno and see if it makes a difference. So first off, the test vehicle is gonna be my 2019 Ram Rebel. Uh, it's got the 5.7 liter Hemi. It is pretty much bone stock right now, so uh, we'll be able to get some accurate numbers there. We're gonna do a dyno run or a couple of dyno runs on it and see what the base numbers are. Then we're gonna throw on these cold air intakes and see if it makes a difference and if it's worth your money. So starting off, we're gonna look at the Veroram Air Grabber. This is running about 400 bucks and it is super popular with Ram 1500 guys, the, the 5.7. So you can see that it's not a traditional cold air intake style, but it's got this massive, just massive air filter up in the front. Um, and it gives it that classic, um, you know, air filter on top of the carburetor type of look for the truck. So that's kind of cool. The other one that we're going to look at is the AFE Momentum GT. See the filter through there. It's got lots of air coming in through there. The filter's still wrapped up in plastic and it's even got a little slot over here that you can plug in um, for whatever reason um, or you can unplug it and it gives you more air for more power or performance anyway that's what they say okay, so those are the two kits that we're going to test out first things first though we got to get the truck on the dyno and for that i'm going to take it over to the fellas at real performance here in town um, if you're not familiar with them they did all of the work on the pontiac g8 and the car is running muy bueno so we're going to get it in there and see what we're looking at. But it only gives you a max, but it doesn't give you a minimum, huh? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna try to hook our uh, the laptop up here. If we hook up AC scanners and put it on the scanner, then we'll it'll allow us to run the lock out of here. So we're gonna try to hook our laptop up here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And then that look of disappointment afterwards. Uh, that was a good one. That was the best one, dude, by far. Did it hit a limiter? Yeah. Okay. I think the limiter on these is 55. Yeah. It, 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 it is. It is. So your T four star, this is where you got 100 percent throttle. So this is completely accurate from here to here. Okay. The torque, we weren't quite forward yet, so it wouldn't down tip. Okay. Put it, get it up in the fist and then roll into it a little, stab it, let it grab force and pull through force. Or get it to six and let it drop. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my I'm saying go to six and let it grab the fish. And then you can run it all the way through wide open. Alright. was your highest on a on a good run without a down tube. Yep. Yeah. And then 304 was the highest power we got out of it. And that was the only run we could get it to run to the rev limiter. Okay. All these other ones cut off just before, so you're getting like 298, 288. And that's why it's all yeah. swivelly up there. But it's yeah. consistently 304 and 321 to 325. Those are pretty accurate numbers right there. Pretty pretty consistent. It's really hard to get it to stay in a gear. I told you magnet buttons will let it hold it. Yeah. And if not, use a laptop will let me do it. No. Safety first, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess. So. <laughs> well, yeah, and I know that to uh, keep it in fist, dude, and then roll into it. And don't stab it until it's all down. That one seemed like the best one when you were yeah. already pretty high up the there. The power is dead on on that one, and then the torque is dead on on this one. So you're... 304 and 325. That seems about right. The torque is perfect on that one, and then the horsepower is perfect on this one from 85 mile an hour and above, which your peaks are accurate. Okay. You can see right here where it's a little soft. He wasn't floored till that point. But for this 15 or 20 mile an hour, your horsepower is completely accurate. That's accurate. Yep. So this run, theoretically, we can match them up to 304 or 325. Okay. Sweet. That'll work. Is that good with that? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Thank you. So the truck is a little stubborn. I was warned about this on a couple of Facebook groups. And I guess that's kind of an issue with these fifth gen Rams. But basically it just doesn't want to stay in gear. Uh, it does have the option on the steering wheel to put your max gear on. And we did that, which stopped it from just going up a gear and eventually just topping out. So that definitely helped, but uh, you know, doing a couple runs in fifth when you got on it, it wanted to shift down into fourth. And when it did that, it obviously just threw off the whole thing. They were able to get a couple of good runs in and get some accurate numbers. Uh, peak horsepower came in at 304 and peak torque came in at 325. So now that we have our baseline numbers, then I can go ahead and install one of these units on there or cold air intakes and uh, then get it back on the dyno to see if it actually makes a difference. So what do you guys think? Is it gonna make a difference? I've, you know, whenever this conversation comes up in Facebook groups, in conversation, um, cars and coffee, whatever, uh, some people say that it makes a difference, some people swear by it, and some people say that it makes absolutely no difference at all and it's a waste of money. And then there's everything in between. So what do you guys think? Is it gonna make a difference? Put it in the comments down below. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get this kit installed. I'm not gonna tell you which one, you'll have to tune in and then, uh, it on the dyno. So I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching.